All right, so welcome back. This is the extended for the Are You at War With Yourself Cultivating Inner Peace Pick a Pile reading that I said I would do um, with the full read out of the booklet for the uh, chakra cards. And I don't have much, I have like a paragraph for each of these um, or less in notes. So this should be pretty quick. But I do want to give you a full read out of the book. So for those of you who chose pile one, you had the rejection card show up in your reading and let's see what it says. <clears throat> okay, so it's a crown chakra card. Um, there's a at a glance look and then there's a whole there's a page. So at a glance, this card says you no longer need to prove yourself. This is about understanding who you are and what you have created. Um, ivory allows others into your life. Choose wisely. Ivory is supposed to be the character on the card. Okay. So, let's get to the page here. The, the key phrase showing up is, they won't use me. And there's a legend, it says the artist is summoned for jury duty, but they won't use him. He doesn't fit their concept of what a juror should be. He paints pictures no one understands. He lives alone. They want somebody who will put himself in the other guy's place, but he will never do that. He doesn't get mixed up with anything or anyone. They honor his individuality when they invite him. Yet when he appears, they reject it by not using him. Inspiration reads, you don't have to be on the inside track. Be true to yourself and you will not be unhappy. Rejection is spirit's protection. Personal inquiry asks, am I working with or against my environment? What is the purpose of my present solitude? So those are some questions you could ask yourself and answer them. You know, write them on a piece of paper, come back to them later, answer them. Meditate, answer them right away, however you want to do it. Just ask them of yourself. And see if your higher self answers you. Key ideas associated with this card are other people's approval, an unsupportive environment, working alone, and the arrival of a teacher. And keywords are protection, exclusion, and development. So there's a meditation I'm going to uh, wrap up the extended reading with, but my notes talk about, <clears throat> it says, is it asking, it's asking you to accept responsibility and be aware and notice how you may have been uh, or may currently be projecting fear, rejection, and negativity or rejecting others due to past wounding and future uh, fear of future rejection might be projecting that okay so I feel like your reading is asking you to take a look at that and be honest with yourself um, and notice if you're doing that try to let love in and come from a place of love and heal past pain so you don't have to keep cycling along the same way as before rejection is not always a bad thing the book points out Sometimes it's very purposeful, it needs to happen, and it's it protects you. Okay. Um, but that being said, it's not healthy to go around just rejecting your opportunities or rejecting people constantly because you're super fearful of getting hurt or because you were hurt really bad in the past and you just picked up a pattern of doing that when your higher self is calling you to open your heart and let love in um, and take some chances. So I hope that was helpful, adding that into your reading. I'm going to move on to the second card now. For those of you who chose the uh, second pile that had dissipating, let me get to your card. Oh, nope. Backtrack. Sorry, guys. Meditation. We're still in pile one. Meditation. 
Um, imagine divine ivory light filtering down and encircling you. In the distance, the ivory tower beckons. You reach the castle and the drawbridge slowly lowers. You enter the castle grounds and come to the tower. At the top of the stairs is a door. Inside is the place of no judgment. You have finally found your way home. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to pile two. Dissipating. Hi. So the, um, at a glance, her dissipating reads, allow gentle flight to your thoughts. Canary yellow supports the creativity and daydreaming. Recognizing the difference between a daydream and a well-thought-out plan is key, as creativity must be freed from its cage. All right, and then when I get to the page, there we go. It's the uh, key phrase here is, I am more than I think I am. The legend reads, Canary, a pet bird, has wonderful ideas for an action movie starring his owner, Mrs. Robinson. They frequently discuss the exciting plot with friends and family, but when they are given money to make the screenplay a reality, Canary and Mrs. Robinson choose to go on a cruise instead. For the rest of their lives, they talk about their great story and exist in fantasy, not reality. Inspiration is beware of being imprisoned by the story you tell. Do you intend to do what you say? Personal inquiry is a lack of planning does not indicate misfortune. Am I doing what I say? Key ideas are taking action, content to dream, going in circles, strong intelligence, making excuses, procrastinating. And the key words are companionship, connection, and assistance. So my notes say there's a need to avoid isolation or cycling around and around in your head for too long, or vice versa, avoiding time alone and just letting others' ideas, opinions, and feelings uh, become your own, not taking time to yourself to cleanse, get in touch with your inner voice or higher self and heart. Time with others who are helpful is important, but there's a balancing and you don't want to be on either extreme of codependency or I am an island. Okay. The meditation reads, sit quietly with what you speak of so frequently. Take a breath. What do you wish to do? Become aware of the feeling in your body. Is it apprehension? Enthusiasm? In your mind's eye, take one step toward carrying out your wish. For example, are you thinking of writing a book? Pull out the first sheet of paper or turn on the computer. Then take the next step, then the next. Will you dream it or do it? Okay, so hopefully that was helpful for you. I'm gonna move on to card number three now. Those of you who chose the third pile in the original video and you had the completion card. This is your reading. You will... Oh, I need to go backwards. Okay. Completion is a stackle chakra card. It's at a glance reads, here is a warm and cheerful energy that brings calm to an ending, making it... Um, I don't know how to... Pre I'm going to spell this word. I, I don't know what it is. P-O-I... G-N-A-N-T, rather than sad. Something is taking place outside your comfort zone, so step into the emotional grace of completion. There is no drama here, only resolution. All right. <clears throat> the phrase here is, a life comes to a, a spectacular close. The legend says, he was raised in an orphanage and never wore new boots until he enlisted in the army in 1942. By the end of the war, he was a decorated veteran and had survived what many of his brothers had not. Later, he became an actor. He was well-loved, 
The history will remember him as a war, a war hero. The, sorry. The history will remember him as a war hero. When he was finally laid to rest, Goddess smiled upon him as she received him into the heavens. Inspiration. This is a reminder to cherish all the beauty in your life, including endings. Reflect upon your part in history and discover what you value most. Do not fear completion. Embrace it. Personal inquiry. Am I present in the moment? How do I respond to the idea of completion? Key ideas. Honoring your legacy. A natural ending to a grand adventure. A new beginning on the horizon. A new adventure. Honoring those who give to us. Keywords are achievement, determination, and fulfillment. All right, and my notes say, combat negative mental energy with love, gentleness, compassion, friendliness, and affection. Quiet the mind. Um, at night, sleep is important. There's something about cleansing, clearing your head at night that came up with the chimes. Uh, moving forward instead of living in the past okay, helps bring peace. And the meditation with this card is allow all your feelings about endings to come to you, whatever they may be. Do you fear them or rejoice in them? Do some journaling to find clarity there. Okay. So hopefully that was helpful for you. I'm going to move on to those of you who had pile four in the original video, your card perfection. It's a root chakra card. And at a glance, it reads, this card indicates protection and an inner conflict between wanting to look good and having compassion for others. Remain, remain kind and unattached to an outcome. Being right and letting others know that you are right may not support the understanding you desire. And the uh, underlying sentence here is, I have the same high standards for myself as I have for others. The legend reads, Raspberry needs no makeup to accentuate her exquisite features, but she wears it anyway. She is a perfectionist. She speaks the truth at all times believing that she is helping others by sharing her truth. While statements such as your child is overweight are honest, they make others avoid her. Lonely, she seeks the advice of her favorite elderberry, who teaches her that honesty without kindness is cruelty. Her new vulnerability allows her to see the beauty in others as well as in herself. Inspiration reads, are you being too hard on yourself and consequently on others? Begin to look for what's right and good in your world, and you will see it. Personal inquiry. Where am I presently focusing? Knowing what's right and telling others about it might not be the best way of being. Key ideas. Alienating others. Feeling alienated. Seeking perfection. Deeply desiring love. And transformation ahead. Keywords are uniqueness, friendship, and acceptance. So, um, I didn't really write notes for this, um, but, oh no, did it run away from me? I had a thought while I was reading here. Hmm. Uh, some of you may have inadvertently hurt some other people because you're just trying really hard or you have really high standards for yourself, like the book says, and then you have high standards for others. And there's not nothing necessarily wrong with having high standards in general, but sometimes we could have too high a standard and it might not serve us. We could be a little bit too hard on people and hurt their feelings, push people away. So, you know, your cards, your other cards, in the original reading, all really were very supportive of attracting abundance, making something great happen. Um, you know, there being a transformation, a very positive transformation. But I feel like, you know, it's not going to be as sweet, perhaps, if it's 
just yours and yours alone, you know, and you don't have any friends to share your blessing with or your abundance with. So um, there is an element here of in dealing with others and in dealing with yourself, trying to implement more acceptance acceptance and perhaps for some letting others sort of find their own answers rather than rather than arguing with them and forcing um, the fact that you know what's right and they should listen to you and do as you say um, and also you know there's a message here about the importance of connecting with friends and being involved with other people and being caring, you know. Um, and then being optimistic, looking for what's right and good in your world, and you will see it. I really think of that universe card and that gold attract abundance card there. If you start Focusing and seeing and looking for what's good, what's benevolent, what you do like in any given situation or about anything. Um, I feel like that really puts you in a, a higher vibration and a vibration to attract more blessings, more goodness, more abundance. And with that universe card there, the universe will guide you. There's just an element of if you've been a little bit too over analytical or over critical or too much of a perfectionist, kind of rebalancing that, being a little bit less hard on other people, hard on yourself, a little less over critical, a little less of a perfectionist, and putting more trust in the universe and faith in the universe and that the universe knows what it's doing. It is guiding you. Um, it is divinely guiding you in your way, and there may be a reason for things. Um, so the meditation for this card reads, think about the people in your life. Find something good about every person who comes into your mind, no matter who they are or how you feel about them, before you release them. You will know this meditation has concluded when no more people come forward. All right, y'all, so I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Take care. Be well. Bye-bye.